There's a cloud over the October Classic. And this is all because of comments made by the Astros assistant general manager about this guy, Roberto Asuna. Comments that were said to be yelled for no plausible reason to a group of female sports reporters in the Astros celebration locker room last Saturday night. It is a story that has tempers riding high. The story breaks last night. Sports Illustrated baseball writer Stephanie Epstein says that on Saturday night, Astros assistant general manager Brandon Taubman, an hour into the locker room celebration, turns to a group of female sports reporters and yells six times an F-bomb laced tirade about how happy he is that his team employs relief pitcher Roberto Asuna. Why is that odd? For one, Asuna had just had a terrible game. So why yell how happy you are to work with him? Two, Epstein said none of the women Taubman was yelling at were even talking to Taubman or Asuna or even about Asuna. Three, Osuna is a player most would not call attention to, as Houston's decision to even hire him was controversial. You see, Asuna had been suspended by Major League Baseball for 75 games and let go by his last team after he was accused of beating the mother of his child. One, two, and three added up to Epstein's story about the incident. And within minutes, the Houston Astros, who refused to talk to Epstein before she published her story when she asked them to, called her work fake news. Which, well, let's bring in Dave. You're doubling down on a very bad hand. And, and I just... It's just so dumb. Yes, last night the Astros called it fake news. Said Taubman was supporting a player getting difficult questions, but uh, other reporters in that locker room said, Houston, you got a problem. You aren't telling the truth. But it gets even weirder. Once the Astros get called out for attacking the reporter and her credibility, Taubman issues his own apology this afternoon for using bad words and for being unprofessional and appropriate and also adding his words were misinterpreted. Dave? Oh, well, I'm sorry I used bad language. It language wasn't what the problem is. It was what you were talking about and what you were doing. Yes, why is he yelling, I'm so bleeping glad we hired Asuna to these women who more than one witness say weren't asking about it? One last time, Dave? The elephant in the room, right? If those were three male reporters, would he have said that? Would it have mattered? It certainly would have given it a different look and maybe not been as bad because he's not, he's not talking to three women. That's the kind of stuff that, that boggles my mind. You know, we talk about it's not hard to be smart. Think about your actions. Think about what you're doing. Why open your mouth in that situation? Why defend a guy who just blew a save? And why do it to three female reporters who are standing right there? That's just not smart. So now what? Well, Major League Baseball says it's looking into this whole issue, likely interviewing those witnesses who saw what happened to find out what the truth actually is here. Oh, and about an hour ago, the Baseball Writers Association of America weighed in, saying, in short, it is alarmed and dismayed by the actions of the Houston Astros and the Astros Public Relations Department. And they're asking for one more I'm sorry from the Astros organization. And they want it to go to Stephanie Epstein, the reporter who broke the story last night.